do believe cardiorespiratory fitness should be part of like even like stratifying patients with sleep breathing disorders or even just measuring their baseline because the association between worsening sleep breathing disorders and worsening cardiovascular fitness is actually put them putting them a higher risk for having more events. Hi, my name is Dr. Maria Irene Barrios Lara. I'm a research coordinator of, uh, of Mayo Clinic Cardiovascular Disease. I'm here to talk a little bit about my recent paper, the association between sleep apnea and cardiorespiratory fitness uh, with long-term major cardiovascular events. This is gonna appear in Mayo Clinic proceedings. There's a lot of research of sleep breathing disorders that have been associated this diseases with cardiovascular outcomes, including stroke, uh, heart attacks, and even death. And there's also research in the cardiorespiratory world, which shows like lower cardiorespiratory fitness is also being associated with um, cardiovascular events, meaning the same uh, heart, heart disease, strokes, and death which is very important from our paper. It's actually one of the few studies that study people with sleep breathing disorders and actually measure the cardiorespiratory fitness. And they showed that people with mild to moderate um, sleep breathing disorders who all actually had worse cardiorespiratory fitness had higher risk of, getting, um, of having major cardiovascular events, including heart attacks, more procedures, including PCIs, cabbages, and actually even overall death. So we believe this is one of the first papers. And the other important reason is why, why are we speaking about like sleep breathing disorders? Um, it's actually from two levels. It's definitely a public health matter because like a lot of uh, people with sleeping breathing disorders are seven times more likely to have car accidents. And car accidents are actually one of the top causes of death. Uh, from people in the ages of 15 to 64. So it's very important in the public health perspective, but also in individual risk. So people are high, higher risk of stroke, cardiovascular disease, uh, infarcts, accidents, prediabetes, among other things. So the reason why we brought this into attention is because Mayo Clinic has one of the biggest centers for cardiopulmonary testing, as well as sleeping research. So we do believe Mayo Clinic is pushing and advancing the research on not only, um, not only screening for people, but also trying to find targeted therapy. So this is part of our research. We want to bring into this, uh, bring this into account and saying, you know, these people are doing worse in a cardiorespiratory standpoint uh, and use this as a way to stratify, but also as targeting therapies. Should we be training more? Should we increase, you know, you know, increase their medications, put them up with more therapies. Um, another important thing, like I said, it's very important for the patient to know because once they are diagnosed with sleeping breathing disorders, there are many, many therapies that we can offer that would not only decrease their chances of having a heart attack and will like help them sleep better, but it would also increase other risk factors like decreasing obesity and decreasing hypertension. And I think this, this research, um, it's very important and Obviously, down the line for this research, we're trying to, you know, bring more people, try to make a bigger follow-up, make sure they have all the therapies, you know, including a CPAP or, you know, helping them get into a better, better diet, getting them more exercise, and then trying to measure in a, long, in a longer term, because the study, unfortunately, that gets, you know, has a medium follow-up of eight years, and see if we do all the right things, uh, we kind of actually modify it decrease or even, you know, get them a healthier life down the line. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.